Good morning, YouTube. Got a quick video here of OpenPilot 7.7. You'll see I'm coming up to the first stoplight, and it's going to actually switch over to green before it totally stops, but it'll auto resume. And you can tell I'm not hitting the brakes because the friction brake next to the E2V braking is not lighting up in white. Um, we were able to fix that, so it works with the Regen paddle and the Chevy Bolt too. But here we're coming up to a second stoplight. And this time I believe I'm behind a car. So it actually had, it knows it's a stoplight because the speed limit shows up in the top right. I've coded this intersection, but there's also a car to stop it. Let me go down to zero here and see here for a while. And this is going through a little town that's about a mile away from me. But the auto resume works perfect. I don't have to. I can press the gas if I need to, or the throttle, an electric car, the throttle to increase a little bit of speed if I need to. And here we're coming up to the third stoplight. And once again, this is stopping behind a vehicle, but it still knows there's a red light there. I think I've uh, changed in the settings instead of over 200 feet for stopping distance. I think I've bumped it down to like 150. So that's when you'll see the speed limit start to show up. And after this point, um, I have green lights the rest of the way. But it's just holding the car with the uh, regen. In the Chevy Bolt, there is no ACC braking. So it's using a camera-based radar and a pedal, a common pedal. And Jason Schuver coded it for the Bolt. And he also coded the Gray Panda for the Bolt. So the timing of the messaging works. And here I have two green lights that I go through. But if you have any questions, just please post them below. Please like and subscribe and share, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And once again, thank you for watching and riding along with me, and I'll be back with more.